to my channel and if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button to see more home holiday event wedding and DIY decor today I'm gonna show you how to make a very easy and very beautiful giant balloon centerpiece for your upcoming celebration here we go to love this centerpiece. I am so excited to make it because you pretty much can use it for any celebration. You can use it for baby showers, bridal showers, weddings, birthday parties, your sweet 16, quinceanera, 21st, 30th, 40th, 50th, 60th, any pretty much any milestone celebration. It's so easy to make, very affordable, and it looks absolutely amazing. So with that said, let's get started with the video. I'm going to start off this project by making the base for my giant balloon centerpiece with the items that you see here. And what I have here is a Plexby tube that I got from Home Depot. This is basically a PVC pipe, only way smaller as you can see. And I got it in a half an inch by five feet originally. Uh, I cut it in half, so now it's two and a half feet. And you're also going to need a half an inch adapter and you're also going to need a round cutting board from Dollar Tree. So this is going to be my base. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing it together. And I'm going to be using both E6000 and my hot glue gun. Now that the adapter is centered in the middle, I'm going to add hot glue to the middle of it so it can keep the adapter center while E6000 dries. Now I'm going to place the pipe in the middle and this pipe is a little bendy so make sure that it's straight before you put it in. After an hour, you can go ahead and paint it in gloss black. Now moving on to my main arrangement, which is going to be a 24 inch transparent balloon in gold confetti, which is the reason why I love this centerpiece because it's so, so simple, but it's going to look amazing. To place the confetti inside my balloon, I'm going to use a small funnel. This one I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to place the funnel inside the balloon and I'm just going to pour it inside. And of course, the more confetti you place inside the balloon, the better it's going to look, okay? And I'm gonna grab a pencil to just push it in. All right, so that seems like plenty, so I'm going to go ahead and start blowing it up. And this is about the right size for me to use uh, for the amount of tool that I have, so I'm gonna go ahead and tie it up. And now I am going to rub on the balloon, like a belly. <laughs> And I'm going to cause some static and friction so the confetti can stick to the balloon. And there it is. Nice. Look at that. Now, I am going to place stickers on it. I got gold stickers from Hobby Lobby. And you can pretty much just, you know, write a message if you like. You can leave it plain if you like. But if you have like a milestone celebration, you can put the 50, 40, 30, 21. However, or you can write love, you can write birthday, happy birthday, you can write whatever you want if you wish to do so. 
All right, so now I gotta center it as best as possible. So right about here. And there it is, so pretty. And obviously, if you're going to do it to the front, you have to do it to the back. But I only got so many stickers. Oh, actually, no, I have it. No, I don't. I don't have enough. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Now, I am going to grab my balloon stick, but I'm not going to use the entire thing. I'm only going to use the top of it, and I'm just going to pull it off. All right. And I'm going to attach it right on here. And it should look something like this. Now you're gonna grab your low temperature hot glue gun and you're going to secure the balloon to the, how do you even call this? The top of the balloon stick. So you're just going to add it all around. And then you're gonna hold it there for a minimum of one minute, okay? The longer the better. Now I'm going to be attaching the balloon to the base and I'm just going to add glue to the bottom of the balloon here. And there it is. I did have to move the number down a little bit and I gave it another rub of static. So yeah, now it's time for the tool. Okay, so I have centered the black tool over the balloon and you will know that it's centered because the balloon looks like it's in the middle. If you have more weight on one side or the other, the balloon will tilt in that direction, okay? And now I am going to use this black. It's actually a sheer black ribbon that I'm gonna use to tie the uh, tool to the base. Okay, so there it is all tied up. You're gonna have to pull the bottom of the tool right here after you tie it as if it was a ponytail <laughs> and you know, fix it and center it. Other than that, very easy. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little trim. Okay guys, this is it. This is my giant balloon centerpiece and it is absolutely beautiful. I love it. I love the fact that you can have it for any occasion. You can just change the color of the balloon and change the color of the tool and you have an amazing and affordable centerpiece. As I said earlier, the stickers or the message on the balloon is totally optional. You can leave it without, uh, but I think that it is cute with it. And if you don't wanna spend money on stickers, you can always get a paint marker and write whatever you want on it if you have nice handwriting that is <laughs> love it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please make sure to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet make sure to do so right here right now also leave me a comment let me know what you thought of my giant balloon centerpiece and leave me a comment anyway because you know i love to chit chat with you guys all the time and make sure to share 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 sharing is caring if you know of a friend or a family member that's having a birthday party bridal shower baby shower wedding this is the perfect centerpiece for any occasion so make sure to share with them at the end of this video all right guys until next time bye